let's take a look at the NRF24 by TechRabbit. This is version two, and this is for what's called mouse jacking. This board has a case on it. I'll lift the hood and show you. So here's the board inside. You can see right there by Terabit, TechRabbit. Version 2, Hack the Planet. And this NRF24, uh, these are mainly used for what's called mouse jacking. And I'll show a little bit of that. We'll see if we can get our mouse jacked, shall we? There are some mice that are still very susceptible to this. However, besides being able to go out into the field and do something like this, um, you can just go with one you have and uh, in your lab or in the field, if you're allowed to, you can use what you've already created to start injecting code. And I'll show you. So the first thing we'll do is we'll connect this to the flipper. Just like that. And you see I have my mouse and the little fob right here. All right, first thing I'll do is I'll connect the fob to my computer. You can hear that, it went in. Uh, let's turn the mouse on, that's a good idea. All right, so the mouse is working. We can see that right here as I move it. The mouse moves, right? Cool. Now what you want to do is you keep the mouse moving, but now we'll go over to the flipper here. We'll go to apps, GPIO, NRF24. And what I want is the sniffer. So I'm going to start this app up. The default is um, four seconds, two megabit. I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. So instead of four seconds, I'll go down to two seconds. That should be okay for this test. And I know my mouse is plugged in already and it's working, so I'll start the sniff. Depending upon what channel, it goes through something like 80 channels or something, depending upon what channel the mouse happens to be on, it can take just a little bit. But you'll see when it pops up, it'll say found over here and unique right there. And I'll just keep moving this mouse until we see something, if we see something. And this is just a waiting game. Oh, I think we found it. Let's go to channel 16, 17, something like that. All right, normally I would just keep going and cycle through the whole thing a couple times, but I think we found what we're looking for and we'll stop. We can see that I found something and it was uh, unique what I found. I haven't found it before is what that's saying. So now I have this saved. I can go to Mouse Jacker right here. One out of one, if you have more than one saved, it'll, you know, one out of two, one out of three, one out of four. I just have one in here so far. Here's the address of it. And now uh, let's see what this thing can do. So I've jacked it. I'm going to select that first one. It says, hey, what, um, you know, what scripts do you want to use? I've got a lot of scripts here. However, I'll just use a demo script for now. And since this is plugged into a Windows machine, I'll use Windows. Keep in mind, any computer that I can hook a mouse into pretty much is going to work. I can use a Mac, Linux, 
Windows machine. In some cases, you can even connect to iOS or Android phones. So I'll just do the this Windows one right now. And let's see what it does to my computer when I click on this. I've got the dongle connected right there. Let's see what happens. Oh, there it goes. And what it's gonna do is draw a little picture here. And on my flipper, it'll tell me when the code is done being injected. So it's writing the little picture on a notepad uh, keep in mind, the script can be, you know, so many different things. And there, it's done writing the thing. And here it tells me, hey, you're done. You can scroll back. Use a different Ducky script if you want. And now the genius behind this, really, is now I have this saved in here. So I can take this little dongle right here. anywhere I want. I don't need the mouse anymore. <laughs> All I need is this, and I know that this is it right here. If I can remember that's this, any computer I connect it to, I can inject code into, pretty much. Windows, Mac, so great for penetration testing because this little guy becomes a remote ducky for you. And it can launch all sorts of code. I'll go to garage sales sometimes and try to look for mice that I can do this to. Uh, old Logitech mice or whatever. And then I keep them and I have a... Um, a small stock of these just in case I want to do some penetration testing or whatever. And so that is a good way to create these little duckies that you can keep forever as long as you don't do the Logitech update that wipes the ability to be able to do that. You can have these little remote duckies all over the place doing all your uh, penetration testing. And I'm doing this with the Rabbit Labs NRF24 version 2 with the little case on it. See, I got it right there. Little light lights up when you're using it. And that's it. Mouse jacking with a Flipper Zero on a Rabbit Labs NRF24 V2.